Bleeding Burgundy Podcast, a Washington football podcast by fans for fans, with your hosts, Jesse Martin. You want to play with us? Okay. Say hello to my new friend. John Taylor. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. And Keith Gray. The king. He on majesty. And now here's your host. John Damon. Hey everybody and welcome once again to another mild and gentle episode of the Bleeding Burgundy podcast, uh, which I do believe is guaranteed to give you overnight relief, gently. Uh, you got a new hat. Got a new Jesse hat. got a new hat. Yeah, my friend Jesse Martin here, who had been in a car accident since the last time we talked, everybody. I did. Still sore. I tell you, he settled for the hat. That's all right. The guy said, hey, I'll give you this commander's hat. And Jesse <laughs> went, fuck yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got so you that. Got the- I got Go T-boned. Um, not my fault. Uh, I'm okay. I finally got a new car uh, yesterday. Matter of fact, it's, it's pretty much the exact same car that I had, just uh, not T-boned. So you got the gray one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I actually ordered the black one, uh, but this is what they gave me. So that's uh, yeah, I like it. I, I don't. That's what they okay. gave you. They sent you the fancy. That's fucking horseshit. They, uh, what was it like? Thirty nine dollars. Yeah, for fanatics. But I got, I got a, uh, I got a, a shirt too. Um, yeah, commanders. <laughs> long sleeve. Like I like. I really do like this shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I do like, like that. the shirt, the Nike long sleeve. That's, that's the one that cool. <clears throat> that's the one that uh when all the leaks were coming out that was one of the first ones that were leaked yeah yeah um yes yeah, so I, I mean this is probably the only two things i'm going to buy um until i decide to buy another jersey uh but i probably won't until the black one comes out till they're available but i i that's i think i sunk enough money into the new rebrand um probably more than i should have but yeah it is what it is 39 dollars for a ball cap is the last i saw the price is yeah, that yeah. What it is absolutely yeah. insane yeah, for the a price, ball cap yeah the price is insane i mean even for the hoodies you get a nike hoodie uh yeah. 75 yeah. i um, think well, i think the shirt was why. even cheaper i think that the shirt was like 32 or something like that if i can remember correctly but that's still it's, expensive though it is, it is. but, it, but it is. when you're when it's you're reasonable talking about a hat you know Forty fucking dollars for a hat. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Take that and compare it to the other things. Yeah, right, yeah. No, a hat. It, it, it's it, ridiculous. It, it I remember is. paying twenty dollars for a hat. Right yeah. at twenty nine ninety yeah. five when the NFL was charging me twenty nine ninety five, like probably for this hat. I was like, ah, that's like, uh, thirty bucks for a hat, but it's still a hat. But forty bucks for a hat. Get forty the fuck fucking dollars. Right. But well, I had to get a hat. I mean, I had to buy. I I, I, I like hats. I I'm too. a hat guy, you know. And so, so we were up. We re up season tickets, and one of the options you could do there were options that you could, you know, select <clears throat> a lot of cool stuff. But me personally, um, I, I took the 50% off. It's like a one shopping day that you get, and you oh, can pretty cool. you can buy anything in the store, and it's uh, 50% off. I went that route, and that's probably where I'll buy a hat, a t shirt, and both the black and burgundy jersey, and then I'm calling it, you know, done. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to get invested. I mean, I, I like just uh, when I saw that a couple of weeks ago come out, I'm like, all right, I like the, I like the gray version. It's a little bit different. And I like how it says commanders in the back. And, yeah. and uh, you know, cause I, I typically, I wear my hats backwards anyways. So, yeah. So I, I'd I, like that logo on the front. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, they're going to be coming out on and a black that's the hat. Thing. That would be sharp. they're going to kill us with I'd pay $39 for that. Once it all starts coming out, they're going to kill us with merchandise because you're going to see merchandise oh, with of the course. crest, the commanders. Sure. Like, there's going to be so much bullshit to choose from. Like, you're not even going to know what to buy. But I did like the gray hat when it came out. The only thing that stopped me from actually buying it now, just so I can have something that, you know, of a hat that says commanders, is I just can't get past the, the gray is not our colors. You know what I mean? Not, and like, it's not, it's not, not the not. it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not like, you know, I wouldn't not wear it. But Mm -hmm. it's what's stopped me because you have burgundy versions of that too. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's more of a preference, but I do like to have a bold version like the hat you're wearing. I see. And I'm a reverse guy. I've always been reverse. Like I love, I love the, the gold hats. I always have. So, 
um, it is what it is, but I'm going to use the 50% off, take advantage. I'm going to buy a few things and, you know, that'll probably be it for me for a while. I just don't see myself going crazy over this commander stuff. I don't. Yeah. Well, no. Here's the big question. Are also, you going to buy a black Carson Wentz jersey? No, <laughs> negative. Before we talk, talk about that, I will say, I know some people were talking about uh, how big the W looks. Um, mm-hmm. The hat in person, it, it, it it's not like that outrageous it does. yeah it, it's it, not yeah so i agree i saw that bad i saw joe's burgundy hat when we yeah. did the charity of the uh, last sunday or saturday and or this past saturday and uh, it didn't look bad it yeah. didn't now that w though extremely large on t-shirts is crazy to me yeah. but yeah no do that with did. everything on t-shirts now everything's too big yeah i don't understand it i mean whatever you know it's because people are big fat cows anymore at the end of the day it's just clothes so yeah, uh, I don't I, think I, I don't think everything needs to be scrutinized these days. Says the guy who has a collection of shoes that's probably more expensive than my house payment. <laughs> that's true. That is true. <laughs> All right. So anyway, are you going to buy the Carson? Wentz? Did you want to talk about something before we get into Carson Wentz? We just got that news this afternoon. So we're breaking news. Jesse, you had yeah. nothing else? No, no, I didn't have anything else. You know what's cool? What's cool? You can see the porn you're watching in your glasses. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I anyway, got some ugly right, so, porn on because it's y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> so we we have uh, we have a brand new quarterback. What do you think, Jesse? Go first. Tell me what you think. Actually, I'll say this. Oh, go ahead, Keith. Well, I was going to say, why don't we? I don't even know if this was a topic or if we talked about it. Let's talk about yesterday first before we get yeah, into. Okay. It. Yeah, right, I was kind of cool. I was kind of digging into that. So, to, to yeah. yesterday and the news and, and and how it led up to I guess this you know yeah go yeah. ahead all right well yesterday was Tuesday it was about it was nice it was about sixty five degrees but it, it, there was a nice there was a cold wind so it really wasn't as warm as it was yeah oh you mean Russell Wilson <laughs> getting traded big things like that so Russell Wilson gets traded for fuck all uh, just a ton of shit and the Packers throw every penny that they can find. They scraped up all the freaking, they were dumping it out of their pockets, linting that shit that they, to give it to Aaron Rodgers. $200 million for four years. Is that even official though? Because he tweeted out saying that that wasn't the, <clears throat> that that wasn't the uh, situation. I don't know. See, I don't know if I would trust what he would say because uh, scientists at the, at the, the Winifrew Institute up in Sagashaw, Connecticut, <laughs> <laughs> have proven beyond doubt that, that yeah. Aaron Rodgers is a dick. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so about that. who knows about what that motherfucker's going to say? But shit, you know, I, and so they've got Devontae Adams there. He's a free agent too, but they're going to tag him, which is going to be pretty expensive for the season. So I, they, they're, they're signaling that the cap is about to go way the fuck up. Well, no, they and, already put out the cap and it's I got a $206 million. Um, they're going to probably look at it going even higher next year and the year after that for them yeah, to pay this much yeah. money. I don't put much stock into the cap though, because <clears throat> you can they, manipulate it very easily. Mm, and that's very what, easily. And, and, not and that from, much. Not, not, a, not a quarter billion dollars worth. Talk to the Saints yeah, from and what, what they I, did. From what I understand, yeah. Roger's cap hit is extremely, extremely low this year. Um, yeah, and and they that's how they were able that. to, to stru- yeah, the structure that deal. Uh, but it's a it's a monster deal if the reports are true, man. I mean that's that's the biggest deal in NFL history by a good margin. Um, I mean, good for him. I mean, he played his cards right and it's a, hell of a uh, lot of money to win some fucking regular season games. Yeah, and maybe one playoff game. I mean, I, I had I had zero. Uh, uh, there there was in my mind there was zero chance we were ever going to land Aaron Rodgers. I mean, that was just, you know, going back and, and just thinking about the situation. Uh, I had a feeling he was either going to st- stay in green Bay or go to Denver. And um, he, uh, if you believe the reports, I, I mean, obviously I haven't, I don't really go on Twitter anymore. Um, but, you know, if Aaron tweeted out something different, then, you know, I guess we'll, we'll wait and see what, what, you know, yeah, he, he did that. state that he he's staying in Green Bay. Like, that's true. But in his tweet, he uh, basically debunked the $200 million deal. I think that that is the actual deal. But I think he was actually trying to keep that a secret because they're still trying to to sign uh, Devontae Adams, too. They're so tagging I, him, right. Yeah, well, they're still working well, on a deal. The other and part so, of that is Alan Lazard and 
Scantling, whatever, whatever his name is, the other wide receiver, they're free Valdez, agents too. Yeah. 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 Valdez yeah. Scantling. They're free agents too. So Rogers is going to have to do everything he can. Uh, Y'all <laughs> sons are going off. My, that was my <laughs> son. Probably wanted to talk to me about Carson Wentz. I'm on the show, Max. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, look. Yeah. So I can't remember what the hell I was going to say. Uh, Rogers is going to have to just do what he always does and do it with anybody they give him. Yeah. I, I mean, do he, do he we, can. Are, are they trying to make space? I, I, I obviously, I, if you're Aaron Rodgers and you, you're signing that deal, you expect them to do everything they can to keep Devonte Williams. I, I mean, well, you, or, Adams. Uh, Adams. I mean, you, you. I mean, that's his guy. I, I would expect him to stay somehow. Right. It's his yeah. only guy. I mean, yeah. he can do it with Lazard and Scantling, but not like he can with Adams. He has like a a mental connection, like some kind of yeah. ESP thing yeah. going on. He always Adams seems and... to with at least one receiver on his team. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. That Jordy yeah. Nelson. Remember? Yeah, I mean, Jordy Nelson was 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 great with Aaron Rodgers, but when Jordy he, went, he over could to, run, run. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, what was it? The Raiders. Uh, he right. wasn't very good. But uh, well, I mean, Brady, Brady about... had that kind of connection with with certain receivers as well, too. You know, I mean, he had Edelman and, um, you know, a few others that, you know, he was really connected with. But, yeah, they can they can make those are the types of quarterbacks that just make anybody look good. Even before Jordy Nelson. Yeah. I mean, he, uh, he yeah, was... he, yeah, he had multiple like uh, Cobb and, and Cobb was um, one of them. But uh, the, Cobb and, and, and Donald and Driver. Nelson. He yeah. was with he, he was in the That's beginning was too because uh, uh, his driver I think he played with Favre as well. Uh, yep. You know he was there during that transition and that was his first big go to guy. Yep, that's who I was thinking of. Yeah, but it, what was interesting though was Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb. I mean they played together, right? Yeah, I mean they're, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, he was one and two, and I mean uh, those that was like peak Aaron Rodgers at that time. Mm-hmm. So when do the Packers? What when? I'm, I'm guessing that they pick around number twenty to twenty two, twenty four, so, somewhere in that range. Yeah, somewhere in the, in the mid twenties, I would believe. There's some wide receivers that are available out there, man, that, that might last that long. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, it's a good, it's a good. From, from what I understand, this is a good draft board receivers as well. This past past three drafts have been great receiver uh, drafts. So the Seahawks, what the fuck are they doing? That's well, what I asked yesterday. What the fuck are they doing? All right. This goes they, got a, they got a ton. Fr- Friday, you know, uh, it, it it was made known that they were not going to trade Russell Wilson, even though Washington made a big offer. You know, and Suppose, like, nope. I haven't heard what the big offer is, but supposedly we threw a bunch of it, it multiple was, first round picks at it, them. From what I, I understand, it was more than the Broncos. It was, um, it was better. Yeah. yeah and it was definitely a, better a, a, a collectively. Better deal um than than what the broncos uh offer and you know you met back a few episodes ago when when i was talking about the the, the percentage chances of some of these big name quarterbacks uh coming you know I, a lot of things had to happen for russell wilson for us to land russell wilson one was we had to offer enough which i think i think we did i mean there's they were serious about trying to go going after big name quarterbacks two russell wilson had to uh, want to come here which from what i understand he was not uh, – he, he didn't uh, co- put a kibosh on the deal. He was willing to come here. And, two, Seattle had to want to trade them to us. That's where I got stuck. They had to want to trade him, period. This is where I get stuck on this whole thing. I mean, this is this is about the size almost of the Herschel Walker deal when you get right down to how many picks were, were handed over plus the players that were handed over. I mean, granted, well, if you look at the Walker deal, although most of you are probably way too young to even remember that thing, it's the biggest deal in NFL history until probably this. Uh, there were about six players involved. Darren Nelson ended up as a running back of the Chargers. Not a bad running back either, but he was part of that deal. But the Cowboys went ahead and drafted fucking three Super Bowls, basically, with that, with all yeah. of that shit. Yeah. And I'm guessing that the Seahawks are thinking that maybe they can do the same thing because you're, the difference is Herschel Walker, while he was – okay as an nfl running back he was not russell wilson in terms of how good he is and how big he is to a team russell wilson he's yeah, the a, value in my opinion, is just totally he's a hall different. of famer yeah he's a, and, and he's not totally different right he's he's what 33 34 in in today's modern nfl he can play another five years at a high level if he doesn't yeah. get hurt so i the, the seahawks i think are are it's hard to say you're from what they got, they got a lot, but what they gave up was everything. 
Somebody said to me, yeah. well, it's probably coming down to money. I'm like, well, what the fuck else are you going to spend your money on? You got a Hall of Fame quarterback in his prime. What are you, what yeah. are you spending your money on? I mean, it's, I think Jeez. it's known now to uh, uh, I, I think that I saw a report came out that uh, that Denver was Russell's top choice, number one choice. And you can have it must be the, the legalized marijuana in Colorado. This seems I mean, to be maybe. very popular for these old quarterbacks. But, to but for people to come down on the Washington organization for not doing enough to get Russell Wilson, I think is uh, is a bunch of bullshit. Um, I, I think I, they're not going to give him up the NFC period. It's it's uh, I, I applaud their, their effort, you know, that I, I really do. And I didn't have much faith uh, uh, of landing them. I think I gave them a, like a very small chance, but they went after it and, and good for them. Um, obviously we ended up with somebody else, but you know, <laughs> I, I, it, it, it is what it is, man. And, and we got to, we got to deal with it and move on. They did what they could. I mean, if, Seattle didn't even come back with a counter offer as uh, either. I think they, no, they're, they're simply not going to trade him within the conference. Yeah. They, they knew they did not want him uh, to play in the NFC. If they were going to trade him, no NFC. I'd have to look and see when the AFC West plays the NFC West, because that would tell me a lot too. It might be three more years before they ever see him. Uh, I think I saw that they do play each other next, uh, next season, next year. Yeah. Okay. Or this upcoming season. I, I think so. I think I saw that. So I could be wrong. Now. I could be wrong. But, you know, these, these people, uh, JP Finley coming down on the, fo- the I can't football stand team. that fucking idiot uh, coming down on the commanders. That's hard for me to say that still about uh, well nobody's going to come here look at this we, 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 look how bored we are look how bad we are nobody's going to come here russell they tried really and here it's about the seahawks it's not about us it's about the seahawks yeah. all right the, russell can be willing to come here he could have his bags packed we could have the best offer on the table and the seahawks can say no and that's no. what happened and they I, did. I believe uh, you know if you look at all the reports Keith, what do you what do you have to say on the situation, man? So yes. <clears throat> this obviously was the biggest uh, NFL trade or biggest trade in NFL history. Um, it's probably it could be. No, it is. I mean, it, it's been put out there that this is the. It's one of the wildest. That's for sure. It's um, got a lot of pieces. Here's, yeah. Here's the deal. <laughs> so Jesse touched point on all the people that were see people don't want to come here. People don't want to come here. Part of that may may be true, but. But in this situation, that's not the case. What yeah. it is, is we laid, we went to the table. We laid our offer. The offer was even better, right? But what people aren't paying attention to, and maybe because it hasn't been reported by someone who is checkmark, someone who's in the business that does this for a living. But I can tell you 100% for sure that being told by one of those guys Taylor Heineke was one of the reasons why that trade didn't go down. Seattle, Seattle wanted a quarterback in return because they didn't have one on the roster. Okay. And they viewed the exact words to me was they did not even view Taylor Heineke as a short term situation that they viewed John or they viewed a lock with a higher ceiling. Honestly, I don't blame them. Right. Neither do I. So, Neither do I. But you have the fan base who, when I put that out there, right, uh, immediately tell me I don't have sources. I'm stupid as shit. Right. Fine. Oh, yeah, I deal with that, that all just, the time. You're right. You're I don't have idiot, sources. Right. You're you're 100 percent correct. I don't give a fuck about that. Right. But it's not even if I didn't have sources and I just came up with that as my own thought that it's not like that. That's out of the order yeah of it's, it's, it's correct you can you can put the pieces together and fig- if if you're so inclined and this <laughs> another and reason doesn't right. have to start for seattle it's yeah. it, it was just a situation where they were giving up a qb they've got to get something in return yeah because their roster in that position is depleted so they it's can not, draft one now so it's, yeah they can and they can draft i'm sure they will i'm sure they're going to as well Absolutely. they got the ninth overall pick now or Can they do it? what people are thinking that could potentially happen is, is they could be loading up for Deshaun Watson. It I don't could. believe into that, but it's a possibility. It we'll could, see Friday. Yeah. Friday is a big day for Deshaun. It is a Watson. very big day. Right. It is a so, very big day. So, you know, my thought process is, is, you know, look, all these, 
And JP Finley's one of them. I called it out yesterday. I even tweeted at him. I, I tried to go after him. He's got me muted. There's no question about it. He had me muted from the very <laughs> you first. You got muted by the other guy for fucking picking Pete on Haley, his food. that scumbag. Oh, that fucking, scumbag idiot. On his like, food. Yeah, fuck that guy. And anybody that likes that guy, you can unfollow me too. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck either you way, too. That's right. Yeah, all over food. Like, like this is why I don't like that. Mitch Tischler is the only guy out of that yeah, group. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm a hundred percent cool with Mitch is a okay with me. Not yeah. that he needs it from me. Mitch is a good guy. Other than that, the rest of them, they can all kiss my ass too. Mm-hmm. Like Mitch gets it, the official bleeding bird. And he first of all, I never had any bleeding. conversations with Pete Haley, so it's no loss. But what's funny is how that stupid idiot puts, puts it up there on his Twitter, like a badge of honor because he blocked me over a food <laughs> take. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. I think it's more of Fucking a badge of idiot. honor that you got made fun of by keith nowadays yeah. it should be more like hey keith made fun of my food Woo-hoo! like he did he put it up as a badge of honor and, and and i'm thinking i'm like well that's actually kind of good for me like like that's yeah. usually what i do when people block me like oh look uh uh, 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 uh who, 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 who's somebody ron rivera blocks me oh look at him i got to him that's what that guy did and it actually yeah. didn't go in his favor but anyways to circle back to the point is Please. people like jp finley right gets on there he knows exactly how this fan base is going to react yeah. listen we, he, he I know does it on purpose we could have oh, signed the best we could have signed the best quarterback available and there's going to be fifteen thousand people that hate the idea of it that's just sure the, that's the nature of this game this business and the things that we do but this guy riles up the fan base, right? Knowing that they're all pissed off and people are literally blaming Ron and want Ron gone because he can't close a deal. What do you want this guy to do? He basically was giving more than a farm to try to get a quarterback that us fans, right? Have been needing our entire fucking lives in existence. Right. Yeah, and, right. and so, so it's fuck Ron, it's fire Ron. Get the right. fuck out of here with that mentality. That's, that's lame ass mentality. You're pushing a blame on someone who's actually trying to make the team better. But so here's the it? thing. Russell Wilson had the final, this, even though they made the trade and then they say afterwards, uh, upon Russell Wilson's approval, bitch, get out of here with that. They, they was already talked to him. His agent was already on there saying, hey, this is going to go down. Is this something that you're going to agree to? And he said yes. And then the agent's like, hey, Seattle, he's going to agree to it. Go ahead and pull the they, trigger. They've been working he on that said, deal for weeks. They've right. been working on that deal. said, this is where you're going to go. He said, the, the, the weed's legal there, right? <laughs> and they just said, yep. And he went, he went. But people deal. were trying to break it down. Yeah, like, wait, why would he go into a division right. where there's three other good quarterbacks and this and that? Maybe because he likes competition. How about that? Maybe he huh. doesn't want to go and he doesn't want to go to a team who hasn't been very good. And maybe he doesn't want to deal with like that type of losing mentality because let's face it that's the way it's been you know and so now he's going on a team where let's face it denver is not a bad team so no they got some really good they got a great offensive line they got a really really good defense and they got some fucking weapons man and i mean it's close shit. to home his wife his wife yeah. you know is in hollywood it's close to home it just it only makes sense it was a it was 100% a long shot Very that long he shot was going to come it. here. But the fact that he did entertain the idea is hopeful and people should stop saying it's because of Dan Sider. It's because they don't want to go here. Like this negative ass mentality makes me hate social media it makes this, me hate our football team i don't even want to talk to you guys right now i hate both of you too th- this this is why well, i stayed off you twitter suck. because i think i'm in agreement with that i'm fully unanimous with that it's it's such it's such a fucking cesspool man and i, I that's right i can't fuck all of you stand <laughs> i'm serious fuck it fuck you all some of y'all are cool that's right all but, of you listeners fuck off you stupid it, bastards. It, 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 that's where it, they bring you down the shit brings you down media. You fucking get pissed off. You yeah. got fucking. It's it's sure. just so irritating, man. This and my life because my life has gotten better the past three weeks, man. Even because even he had I to hitchhike everywhere and he met some nice fellas. It took but, a fight boy. between Jesse and I for him to say, you know what, fuck social media. <laughs> you know, it's, I don't. I I just don't have the issues with it. I mean, I see all the negativity, but mostly I just. I like hate stupid people, there. and there's. I so hate stupid people too. But so many stupid you, people on there that it's. The condescending, the fucking jackassness, the 
think you're special because you got a thousand fucking followers. And it's it's like, why? I mean, why? Why fucking go through that shit? I, well, I mean, for, it's not a matter of why go through it. For me, it, I, that's what I'm trying to say. I just don't get bothered by it. I couldn't care less. I'll be the Yesterday, first. I tweeted out that I thought Jameis Winston was our best option, right? He's he's more than a bridge quarterback. Of course, that was before we went and got Commander Carson. Commander Carson. <laughs> but so I, I carried on a big conversation with like 100 people today. Because, you know, whenever I tweet something like that, which is something I actually believe, you said, I think, before, Keith, that you've never seen anybody stand for fucking – Jameis Winston, like I do, but that's true. I think he's a good quarterback, and I think he's got potential. Brandon but does too. Brandon likes him too, I think. It's a moot point right. now, but I, I mean, I carried on a discussion all day long, and I had I'll a lot of surgery. People... <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I think a lot of people, you know, they they get all bent out of shape and they say stupid shit, you know, and act like a bunch of fucking haters towards me. And all I do is make some smart ass comment back to him and move on. I don't give a shit. And yeah. All this negativity. I saw, who was it today? Was it, was it Rio that said that the fans and what they see, they, they see that shit. That's why they don't want to come here. I think it was him that said, look, Man, I know that, that you think that we have the most toxic fan base on the planet, but that's because this is the one that you're in. You don't see the other ones like you see this one. You don't have a thousand fucking Chargers followers, you know? But if you did, yeah. you'd see much of the same shit. So, no, it's fuck true. It. I, you know, I mean, we I, were doing a, and that's true because we were doing a spaces today, and I kind of enjoy doing those instead of actually, you know, typing yeah. on Twitter. And yeah. uh, it was after the, the whole Wentz announcement, and there was actually an Eagles fan that came in, and he was actually praising Wentz. And, and, and I know why, because this fan base here, I love listening to their radio because it's a shit show um, with yeah. the callers that call in. I it's love like, Anthony Gargano, though. It yeah, it's basically like, like Philadelphia. Vo- it's basically like voiceover Redskins Twitter, you know, or Commander's oh, Twitter. Um, sure. I mean, they, they get on there, and, and, and I mean, their fan base is split. You know, they, they there's a lot of people that still aren't happy that Carson Wentz, you know, was unhappy and got let go. And there, there's people that don't like Jalen Hurts, and then there's supporters of it. So every they're all going through the same thing. It's just we're only yeah. seeing what's in our fan base. But again, I will only speak on it is the majority of them were stupid. Like fans are just stupid. fans are stupid, and yeah, we say are. stupid shit. And I know that I do. And <laughs> listen, right. I know that I get on. Fuck all. And I know I get on Twitter and I, I search for uh, what, what's the word attention. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Sure, I do. Why not? Cause I like to have fun. I, it, you know, and it is what it is, but at the end of the day, like the negativity, even to me, when I see what everyone's saying, like these days, what I'm seeing is you can't have a legitimate opinion without somebody trying to tell you why you're wrong. And uh-huh. And it's like, when I tweet, I'm tweeting my thought, but that didn't mean that I said, Hey, let's, let's, let's debate this. Like if I say Wentz isn't a good quarterback and someone replies back, yes, he is like, I didn't ask for that. And that's the problem with social media. Like you get your thoughts. You kind of do ask for it when you put it out there, because if you put your thoughts out there, isn't there a way to turn off comments? But there is. And I guess you could do that. You're right. You know, if if you do that, it's just, you know, I, I mean, I get where you're saying. I get where you're coming from. But at the same time, when somebody says something that I couldn't care less about or I think is stupid, I just say, okay, thanks. And, and that's it. Because or, I think that says more than anything. Oh, okay. I or anytime it. I put a caca out there, right? Yeah. Someone's like, you don't have any sources. Yeah, I know, Fuck see, you. Funny. Who are that's you? Funny. Why are you always acting like you're somebody special? You're right. <laughs> that's I mean, funny. Like, look, just move on. Like, okay, if you think I'm full of shit, that's fine. I I, I don't get paid to do any of this. I just have fun See, pushing it out there. And I've been wrong a million times, and it's okay. I'm okay with it because I'm not trying you to. You know be how Adam I view Schechter. this? It's like, I like his I money you're, though. You're like spotlighting deer. You shine right. it out there and you say "caca caca," and the idiots jump in front of the light. Oh, and go, you don't know fucking shit. And always, we can see them. We can see someone. them, and I love it. Yeah, there's always I love someone. It. And then I feel inclined that I have to fight back because I'm like, yo, this guy is attacking my character. But then I'm like, why do I even care? Like, all right, bro, just scroll on. Like, you don't have to comment. You don't, you can roll your eyes without having to tell me you're rolling your eyes. Like you basically, I look at it as you're looking for a fight. So now I'm going to give you one. Dude, I'll tell you what, the funniest way to, to respond to those kinds of things is just write the word gosh with a period and then just write thanks. Just go down two lines and write thanks. Gosh. Well, you know, when then, someone insults me, because, I always say, well, that's not very nice, sir. I mean, that's exactly, my catch, exactly. Right? Give it, give it the, leave it the beaver treatment. 
That's but anyway, right. circle back to <laughs> the top. Whatever we were. I, I believe we should get onto our new quarterback. We've been all yeah. over the place. We haven't even talked about our brand new quarterback, Commander Carson, which um, I'm going to go ahead and put the patent on right now, Commander Carson, because I has immediately got an idea to do maybe a. Yes, a serial, already uh, did it. No, 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 no. I mean, a serial bit over weeks for this show of Commander Carson. <laughs> his freaking... <laughs> so it it's just now forming in my head but oh, Commander Carson. right it, it, something like that it depends on how goofy it gets we'll see <clears throat> he is kind of a goofy looking bastard though all right i'm gonna put myself on mute here because i'm okay. afraid that <laughs> i'm so yeah, passionate that, about this topic that i well definitely... let's say something well, no I, turn to go first i i don't have much to say so let, let, let me just go just all real right. quick you're gonna puke. What, what I, I, I I thought about it for like my, my stomach was a little queasy when I saw that, but then I thought, at least it's not Jimmy Garoppolo. No, it's not. Thank goodness for that. And that's all I got to fucking say about it, man. I, I mean, listen, there's after Russell Wilson, I don't think Deshaun Watson was ever really, uh, um, or at least I don't think he should have been in, in the conversation. Not till, not till Friday. Um, yeah, there's just too much shit that's hanging over over uh, with that and, and and with, you know, the sexual allegations uh, uh, levied against, you know, our owner. Um, I just never thought that was going to be a good idea. Uh, listen, there wasn't much to, to grab from the pool. I, I mean, it's is he our long term fr- franchise quarterback? No, I do not even remotely think so. He could be. I, I he think could be. this is. Uh, 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 here until we find something better, and, and you got so a band. I, I, it's, it's, it's just I think he's good, better than Taylor Heineke. I do. Okay, <laughs> it, it, how much better? I don't know. I don't know what he's got left. It's pretty telling that you know the Colts gave up so much for him last season, yeah, and then traded him, uh, uh you know, one year later. That's got to ring alarm bells off in your head. You the know? Eagles gave up $31 million to get rid of him. So they took a $31 million hit to get rid of him. So yeah, uh, there's red flags. I, 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 I'm, I'm chalking it up to, this is a bridge situation. I think until, cause they're not really happy with what's in the draft or maybe they are, and they're going to draft draft one at 11. I don't know, but this isn't the long-term answer. And, but what can you expect from what's available? That's that's what I'm saying. There's not much fucking available. That's all See, I got to say about there it. Is, there, there are options available, but yeah, you know, the, the red flags are what make me... The, the good news for me is that we really didn't give up a whole lot. You know, we not gave up really. a few picks here and there. Not really. And I mean, it's for one seconds, transition... I think. Yeah, we got theirs... Uh, let's see. We got theirs number 47. We were number 45. Yeah. So we dropped down a couple of spots. No big deal there whatsoever. We're taking the $28 million cap hit to, to pay them. Or to take him, we're taking on the hit, but uh, you know it's going rate for quarterbacks, and the next two years hits are even smaller. So, and he's he's a con- he's under contract for the next two years, I believe. Yeah, he's, and, he's and I think if we, even if we cut him after next season, it's not going to be Keith, a big you, hit whatsoever. No, no, no. Okay. Keep going. Go ahead. Sorry, I All misunderstood right, what you said. He's only twenty nine years old. So, I mean, if he gets his act together, if we, the, the thing that I'm reading and hearing about why he couldn't hack it in in indianapolis was he couldn't get along with jim ursay and i don't know what the fuck that means does that mean he was like you know i have an jim idea Ursay's fucking pills i have what an idea doing? yeah the Threatened rumor on him the rumor that's going out is ursay is kind of like almost like daniel snyder where uh he makes irrational decisions and <laughs> he got busted when, trying to smuggle pills remember when yeah. in week 17 <laughs> In week 17, <laughs> Carson couldn't even beat the worst team in the NFL to even take them yeah. to the first round of playoffs. And and that's why. Uh, so Ursay went and did so. Okay. So that th- that's the rumor. Like, n- not from anyone special, but that's what people are trying to make logic uh, of the, the red flags, right? Right. And that's one of them. And it kind of makes sense. I mean, it just, like, I don't know. Hey, I mean, carry on with your thoughts because – I've, Last I've got year, other... he throws 27 touchdowns and only fucking seven interceptions. That's pretty good. All right. So he had a great – go ahead. 
No, I was just saying, like, like it, he he had a decent first half of the season, from what I understand. Yeah. I mean, I didn't I didn't watch too many of his games or anything like that. But uh, he was he kind crumbled, of spotty. He crumbled. He crumbled at the end of the season. He totally folded like a cheap yes, he did. suit at the end of the season. I think his issues could be his headspace because he's got talent. We've seen it. The, the We've seen it for years is, here. He folded one game before Aaron Rodgers folded. Well, right? Rodgers folds at the end of every fucking year, too. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to goddamn compare the two of them. He's tore but, us a new asshole uh, uh, quite a few times. Yeah, oh, yeah. Him. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm so kind of concerned he's got about talent. the industry. He definitely has a cannon on his arm. We're not going to see Terry having to slow down and go up for jump balls and get himself killed anymore. They're going to lay it out in front of him. He actually so, prefers jump ball passes, too. He's the well, best that's fine. I'd rather it. him not have to stop. Yeah, yeah. I'd he's, rather him he's not one have of the stop. best in the league at it. Uh, we know that he's he's rated I, I, I think number one or two. I bet he has no complaints about forty yard passes that hit him in stride and let him score easily either. I'd like yeah. to see those. So all right. So like I said, he's twenty nine years old. All right. So he does have a bit of an injury history. Uh, the the cost is relatively low in terms of even the cap hit i mean going right for top for quarterbacks, quarterbacks. Yeah. I, yeah i mean right is he a top so, quarterback no but i mean so what been... does that do for your your draft this year what do you got what do you got in mind for your draft do you still think that they go after a quarterback at 11 if they if they no. can target one I but agree. i don't think this there's this class isn't this class needs time to develop to be anything and the nfl is not willing to do that anymore OK, I, I really don't think they are. They want people ready to rock and roll day one. So I, I think they're buying their time and, and waiting for for possibly next year. So. All right. So go ahead, Keith. So. At first, I went through like any fan does. Right. You go through the Those emotions uh, of crazy. Yeah. I, yeah. I, the, the, <laughs> the crazy emotions. Right. There, yeah. There's several stages. He okay. sounds like he's in acceptance now. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I have become in acceptance. Uh, however, in the beginning, it was uh, irate. Mm-hmm. Um, irate. The reason why I was irate at first was I because felt sick after that. And... Right. Because this was a this was <laughs> a one year deal. This can't be happening. This was a one year deal, which then tells me, with this being a one year deal, that this is a band aid situation. I know people are mentioning people are mentioning whoa, whoa. That... one year deal. What do you mean? This is he's one got year three... deal incorrect they, they redo his contract that so that's why i was trying to interrupt you before because i thought i misunderstood you he, he only has one year with us it's a one-year deal carson wentz has got a, his contract goes until 25 that's when he's a free agent it's a, did they redo it, his contract his contract comes with him look it up yeah, it, it, he's under contract through 23 24 is his last year under this contract so he's, he worked this year I, next I, year I, the following i think one year is only guaranteed what, I, that's I what think, I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That, okay. In terms totally of money. Okay. My yeah. fault. My fault. Yeah. Right. So it, one year guaranteed. So that means that we don't have to keep them after that. So that's why I said it's yeah. a one year deal mainly. Okay. Basically, yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause they could cut them. Okay. So that means that we don't have to accept any dead cap hits the following year. Correct. Right. Okay. Correct. Yeah, they're that, paying I, the that, full, I, I they're paying the full 28. That's now. what I heard too. Yeah. They're paying okay, the yeah, full 28. 28. All which right, is why it. now that they're looking to do some more restructuring, they've got work to do now at this point. Okay. But going back to my initial point, it, it, it's basically, it's a one-year deal, right? Which tells me, okay, this is a band-aid situation. This is what I didn't want. This is why I wanted Russell Wilson. This is why I wanted was hoping for even, you know, to sell my soul for Deshaun Watson, because me personally, I'm sick of this one-year bullshit every single year. Right. Yeah. And, and I say it every single year, like it's happened, but, but we all are. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm sick I, you know, of not, not knowing, that... of knowing that this guy isn't possibly not going to be our guy the next following year. So, you know, that was disappointing and upsetting to me because I'm, I like, we all, we want, we want our guy. We, even if he's not a true 100% proven franchise guy there to me, there's no excitement other than, okay, well, it's someone new behind center for at least the right, season. Right. That's it. Okay. So right. that's where I was angry. Then I tried to move into a uh, consoling stage. Okay. Let me console myself now and just try to understand <laughs> why I'm so upset. And then I, I understand why now I'm so upset because this was a former Eagles player. I live 
close to Philly. I have neighbors who, who get at me all the time and my wife and their family. And the first thing that happened, my Facebook starts blowing up. My text messages start blowing up. And then when my wife got home from work, aha, you guys got Carson Wentz. You remember when you said he sucks, he sucks all, you know, and, and so I had to hear all that. So then after I got out of the consoling myself, then it's like, all right, let me try to let me find some positives in this situation. You went, well, you I, went from consoling to finding positives. You skipped right over the drown your sorrows and chocolate chip cookie dough spritzers or whatever. Okay. Well, let's get into that. I, I can go to that. Okay. The, I started drowning my sorrows because the real reason why, after I'm thinking about this logically, the real reason why I'm pissed off about this now, a year ago, you guys remember I was on the pod, Jesse, you remember how I was talking Carson Wentz up. I'm like, yeah, yeah. 100%. I'm like, why not go after this guy? Well, that was because that was before we saw what we did when he was in Indianapolis and you guys had touched base on the red flag. So I don't need to mention that the yeah. red flag is a problem. It right? is. And, yeah, and it we was. don't, right. Those are big problems. Then I started like really eating the ice cream, like shoving it down my throat because of this, this man uh, injury history. I mean, we we're talking torn yeah. ACL cracked ribs, stress fracture in the back is concussion. Yeah. Like that's a lot for a quarterback. Was, and, and some people will say, well, cracked enough. ribs, stress, fra- concussion. That happens. It was, this it, is the football. Stress fracture it doesn't was happen way up to the all these quarterbacks. His neck. Right. It was up near his neck. Yeah. It was right. a bad one. So between the mental injury that he had, which is why I, truly believe he just hasn't popped back up again is his mentals in this and hopefully that that gets proven proven wrong but you can't prove wrong in injury history so what happens is something happens to this guy's back and he has to come out yeah that means taylor heineke comes in right but but my problem is is like the, the again we're we don't know what we truly have except for a guy who's injury prone and the fact that chances are he's only going to be here for one year now let's say he does well and of course they sign him you know to another contract and then the idea is to then draft your guy or if you're going to draft a guy this year i don't think you do it without a 11th and here's why no no you don't no. and here's why and we touch base on that this is kind of, so this goes into the carson Wentz thing right? Mm -hmm. I don't think you drafted at 11 because I don't believe that any of these quarterbacks are are like just from all the stuff that I've been reading and I've actually been doing my own research. I've actually been on YouTube watching these guys. I don't claim to be a guru of know-all, but you can't help but to take all of that and put it all together and understand that these guys aren't valued at big, you know, being yeah. big time quarterbacks yeah. and they're definitely right. and, and and just the background chatter also says that the Martys do not value these quarterbacks as round one quarterbacks, which no. tells me okay. if that is true, then they're not drafting a guy at 11. Yeah. So then uh, I was in a spaces and I did not come up with this on my own, but it almost started to make me feel a little bit better because I'm like, eh, why not? So the idea was you still draft your quarterback, but Carson Strong is a guy that should be available in the fourth round. You don't have a third round and quarterbacks typically get drafted in third round. You don't have that third round anymore. So now all these guys are probably going to be gone by then, but a guy like Carson Strong could be available. Now I'm not going to say Carson Strong is the guy and that'll be the role. Yeah, there's a, there's we a would lead the lead in, we would lead the league in Carson's immediately. But, true. but that's fine. Right. Because, now, if that's your route and the idea, if you want to break this nasty habit of bad quarterback problems, what you hope for is that Wentz gives you a decent season enough to say, you know what, we might maybe want to resign this guy for three years type of he deal. Plays like he did last year. I mean, the numbers. Well, and that's what I'm saying. And like, not falling apart. so, so there is system. positives to this because there is that chance that he could play well. Is he, he better than Taylor play. Heineke? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now what you hope for as a fan in the future, what you hope for is if the route that they want to go is, okay, we got wins. He's our starter and we can get a guy like Carson strong. Okay. In the fourth, now you're into a potentially where you hope Carson Wentz has a good year. You do hope Carson maybe can sign a two-year contract type of deal. Maybe, I don't know. You know, I'm just saying a two-year contract. 
and you still got a guy like Carson Strong to sitting develop the bench, in the back, to, yeah. develop, to yeah. develop in the back. And he may not be the best NFL guy in his career, but at least we're into a situation for our future that we have rollover process, yeah. a start right. of right. a rollover. Yeah. So my purpose Wentz, is right. So uh, when Wentz's contracts up or he free agent and he decides he wants to go somewhere else or however that works out, or we decide, okay, Carson's, we we're benching him. He's no good. We put in, you know, Carson Strong, if that's yeah. the guy. You know, right. we're, we're at least in position now to where we can have hope for a future. And so now I'm in the, the it, everything could be okay based upon Carson's Wentz. Car, Wentz You're in the bargaining season. phase. You're right. In I'm, in the, I'm in the, all right. We, we got a it. couple things working for us, okay? Uh, one in particular, uh, we got a, a very easy schedule coming up uh, this this year. I think uh, I saw, to, you know, it's only March, but uh, yeah. of course things can change. You know, you're absolutely yeah. right; things can change. But from from what the Broncos we had just last got year, a hell of a lot better. For example, I even put the Cowboys yeah. in that <laughs> too. And, and 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 I guess my problem is is why why isn't the Cowboys strength better? Because they, some, uh, they were. In, they were a playoff team. They, they were, but we Cowboys have, we have the let same. Me, let, me, let me give you this real we quick. We have the same division, we'll the same though, but they can still play different teams outside. It's of, only two, uh, two, two, two games are different from right, the whole right. entire schedule. That's where that's how because they got the first place schedule. But the, the teams in the NFC East, we all play the same ex- uh, set, exact schedule, except you know if you place first or second, you'll have a little bit more difficult um, uh, games play uh, or you know harder games played. Against better I teams, some, I should say. Some Cowboys news here that I saw in a tweet today from Prescott Truth. Now, I don't know whether this is true or not, but this is the tweet I read today. Uh, reportedly, Cowboys Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott got into a verbal altercation after the playoff loss to the 49ers. Cooper referred to Prescott as the Black Kirk Cousins in a meeting, which sent the Cowboys quarterback into a fury. Oh, wow. I swear to God, if Amari Cooper called him the Black Kirk Cousins, I want him on this team <laughs> for forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and, and it, it, the schedule is going to be a lot lighter than it was last year. Um, Carson Wentz has some I think that, that kind talent. of stuff is a little overrated because you know anything can happen. Anything um, can Keith, happen. you brought up you you brought up his injury history, which is true. He has had some yep. serious injuries, but yep. at the same time, Tyler Heineke. That was I can remember a year ago sitting here with you guys and and arguing about the same thing over him. He's not going to last. He's fragile. He's not going to make it. And as it turns out, Kyle Allen is fragile. That's for goddamn sure. But injuries, especially to quarterbacks, are fluky things. They can happen at any time and pretty much to anybody on the football field. You just fall the wrong way. Somebody rolls up on you, and that's Well, that. then God must not like him. He loves God, but I don't think God loves him because you're talking a torn ACL, cracked I got to tell you, yeah. God doesn't love a lot of people. Concussion. Especially, that tells we, me God we do, hates your ass. We, we, we well, do maybe know God very just bet well. on the other team. Maybe God just doesn't like the Eagles. The Philly, well, that's probably the Buddha, because God ain't working for you. And, and years you, past, God, a lot of the people Philly's had that, some god awful offensive lines. Yeah, uh, yeah a true. lot of a lot of people that like God, God doesn't like them. You listen to some that's of these true. interviews out of these trucker protests, you'll fucking find out real quick how bad it is to be breathing fucking all, <laughs> car fumes. All My man needs to bring his Bible to the bench too, because he's gonna need to ask God <laughs> for for help with this one, because those injuries there don't happen to every quarterback. Here's what, here's what Carson Wentz can do. He can get down on his knees and pray to God and say, how about I throw it as far as I can and let's see if Scary Terry can run underneath it. And when Terry does, he can fall on his knees and say, hallelujah, I finally have a wide receiver that can't outrun my pass. Look, man, he had that – what's the rookie? Uh, Jalen Rager? They had, no, no, no. That, for the Colts last year that stepped up and really started to play mm-hmm. well. Right, and then um, – oh, see, I, I as I get older, names – escape me i can yeah, see i don't, I, don't I, I know you're talking about i just don't know the name i don't the rookie and, and then the veteran came back whose name is ty again, hilton that's the, ty hilton came back and i mean even though he wasn't really supposed to come back and do anything he made some nice plays so wentz has the skills i'm not too worried about injuries because like i said they can happen to anybody at any yeah. time I, I think I think it's all the whole it, it's all upstairs for Carson Wentz. It's all in his head. Uh, if he gets his head straight, his mentality straight, he can be a solid quarterback. Uh, we've seen it. We've seen him play very well in Philadelphia. Um, so, who would you like in your first pick? Now, what would you like to do with the number eleven pick? I I, I know some people are going want, want, want a receiver. Uh, I want I want more defense. Um, if if there's well, something available, man. 
if the Kobe Dean, I think, would be available. That, that would, would be, be a line. That'd be, I would love to have that guy. <laughs> Look at me. I'm acting like a little girl. Oh, I'd love to have There's him. a lot of people that are against uh, drafting a linebacker at 11, though. Yeah, well, I, you know what? A lot of people are saying the draft is so deep with linebackers that there, there's some <laughs> there's some good cornerbacks, there's some good safeties out there, man. Um, yep, I, I think there's this free agent. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about free agency in, in yep. coming episodes, but uh, well, there's some, there's some, week, so we're going to talk about it today. There's there's some some decent receivers uh, that that could be available. Mario Cooper could very well be He's available. available. You know, I, I yeah. It, having him lined up opposite Terry McLaurin shit that'd be good there's great wide receivers possibly coming out of this draft two of them right out of Ohio State with Olave and Garrett Wilson uh you got uh what's his Jameis Williams from Alabama who but he tore up his knee I think in the national championship game and that would yeah he did he fucked his knee all up you know Levin's going to be very interesting it's going to be an interesting pick man um you could uh, trade down now you could trade good. back now very well, you know, and yeah, absolutely. I think that that might be a good idea right there. Trade back a little bit, get back into the first round, especially if it looks like N'Kobe Dean's going to drop a little bit, which I would hope that's, that's my, my number one choice right there for pick either that or trade back. That's what I would like to do. So free agents. Now the quarterback is off the freaking table. What are you, what are you targeting? Do you have any idea who's even a free agent coming up? Uh, I haven't, I haven't done much Bobby research Wagner. on it. Um, nah, yeah, Wagner's going to be available. He is a little bit older, but he's a good. It would have to be a short, a young, yeah. young linebacker room. Um, he, it, would, it would have to be a short deal. That's yeah, not one year deal. That's all you can yeah. really do now at yeah. this point, anyways. Is short deals. Yeah, that's right. all free agency's been the past couple of years is short deals. Yeah, no, now, you're right. What about what about Jordan Hicks? That motherfucker's uh, badass inside. I, 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 I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed. He is a bad. Yeah, bad. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be opposed it. to that. Um, Look, I, I really think we need to look at our, our free safety. I, I know um, uh, Bob, Bobby, uh, uh, shit. Um, McCain? McCain They're came trying to on rest- late they- uh, uh, yeah. last season. Uh, he did pretty well, but I, I still think maybe trying to, to, to upgrade it to free safety. Maybe look at, uh, um, uh, 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 shit, what's his name from uh, Car- Arizona? Um, Tyron Matthew. Uh, oh, Tyron Matthew? Uh, yeah, yeah pa- the pa- Chiefs. Pa- Pot. He's already rumored to. Um, I'll look that up. Keep keep with your thoughts. I mean, it, there's there's some there, there's some free safeties that are available. Uh, I, I definitely there's think good they safeties in the draft. Yes, there is. The safety that's out of Maryland. Uh, I can't remember his name. Nix from Maryland. That dude's badass too, and he's probably going to wait for at least three or four rounds. Oh, um, I, I know there uh, a lot of teams are have been hesitant and been stingy with their franchise tags as well too. So there's going to be players available. Uh, mm-hmm. we have some money. I know, I know now we're 28 million short, um, from, from the cap, but there's going to be stuff freed, uh, freed up by Brandon Sheriff. Not, I, I don't think he's going yeah. to return. Um, no. uh, we're hoping that Landon Collins will restructure his contract that, that will free nice. up some more money too. Um, I still want Landon back. Uh, I, I, I really do. Yeah, I, I do too. That, when he plays I, down in the box, we're yeah. much better. Uh, when, when they moved him into the hybrid role, I think that's a perfect role for him, and he played very, very well. So I do, I definitely hope to see him back. And we we do got some money to spend, even with that twenty eight million going uh, sure. locked up for for Carson Wentz. We still got money to spend, and I expect them to be big spenders this offseason. Well, so, one thing that we can all agree on is rumored to the Giants. That doesn't mean anything, though. But who's uh, that? I remember uh, Honey Badger. Oh, uh, yeah, Matthew. Uh, yeah, he. Um, I remember seeing a tweet. That's why I had mentioned that. But there apparently there's mutual interest um, with the okay. Saints. Uh, but I did see something that uh, it could be a potential landing spot with the Commanders too. But they're always going to say that because we've been known to go we after. Always, yeah. Yeah. Right. So I mean, there there's really nothing you know to that. But it's not an idea that I would hate. I would love to have that guy on our. Yeah, team. I, he's still Look, playing very very well. Oh yeah. he is he is he in his thirties yet? Yeah. Yeah. Matthew, so, if yeah. he is, he may be 31, 32. Yeah, yeah. he still got he still got some stuff left in his tank. He's played very well, very good. Uh, he left what the Cardinals to go to the Chiefs, right? The Chiefs was his last yeah. team. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he won a Super Bowl. So we're gonna let JD McKissick go chat test the market. I think he'll get a freaking offer somewhere. So, um, a why are we letting him walk? I don't get that. I, I hate that. I, 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 that's, that. that's, I that's the that first guy. I've heard of that. And I, that, that makes me sick. I have, he's a free yeah. agent and I haven't seen anybody 
saying anything about him I, signing a deal. They have to well, be behind well, why. doors trying to. I hope so. Yeah, here's but, why yeah. on that. They and, and actually, this was tweeted out there. This isn't even – basically what they were doing was is they, um, they're working on uh, uh, Landon's restructure, um, and they did not want to sign guys because they were – waiting to find out what was going on with Russell Wilson. Yeah. And they wanted to get their QB on the roster and, and know where the money's at. So they know what they have to work with to re-sign okay. these guys. That makes sense. Makes okay. and I, from what I'm being told or not being told, but from what I'm reading is that um, <clears throat> there's no question now that, uh, that Landon and the commanders are in negotiations and, Yesterday, from what I was hearing, was they were close to an agreement. And then today, I'm hearing literally right before the Wentz news drops that um, there's a snag in the money. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with that? Now, we don't. Now, I, I, I'm thinking, yep, he's resigning, and here we are. We, we don't even know. So they got to, I, I, again, they're trying to restructure because they're trying to free up. They probably knew yesterday obviously with Wentz what was going on so they're making all these moves to understand what they have in order what they can offer to the guys that they want to keep I think McKissick stays on this team I don't think yeah. that I don't I, see well, how you just, can get rid of let him. me just say they're real gonna quick. get him before he hits the market there's no question he he added value to this team last season oh yes absolutely and the season before that too but this sure. just let me say this is a disclaimer for the Bleeding Burgundy podcast is that Keith has no sources and is of course stupid absolutely 100 <laughs> percent. so just we, we want to make that sure that's clear and not that everything that's that told to me becomes true you know what right. i'm saying like it, that's it's just right. the way life goes but hey if, if and listen what, what i need people to understand too is like i go in and i've been told yesterday i got told from two different people their exact words both of them well it wasn't the exact but oh fuck off keith get out of my dms <laughs> because they're just tired <laughs> because i will go in and i will try to get information it's not like it's not like all you can I'm do is cool. ask. I'm so cool, so they're gonna come drop nuggets. No, I'll go in. I'll do some work, and I I want to try to find out. Hey, is there any little bit of nuggets? Anything? Do you know what's going on with this? Do you know what's going on with that? And they do. Some will give information. Some will tell me to go fuck off. That's just the way it works. And I That's don't take it personally. Cool. I laugh. Well, when they tell you to go fuck off, I'd like to hear some of those messages. Hey, well, you, I, I will definitely screenshot where it says, "Oh, fuck off, Keith. Get out of my All DMs." Right. And That's it was good. funny to me. I laughed. I don't take it personal. You know what so I'm saying? I, I, but it's the same person that gives me all the right information. So I'm fine with I it. I got one other thing to bring up in terms of free agents. All right. For, for one, all right, McKissick, let's let's say that they aren't going to resign him. Let's say that they are going to let him test free agency. I'll throw you some names and see if you are interested in, in replacing him with anybody like, oh, say, Corderell Patterson, who is going to be let go by the Falcons unless they resign him. Uh, I, I thought don't know he why. played really good. I played. I thought he played. <laughs> he stepped up last year. Last year, yeah. Boston Scott up in Philadelphia. Yeah. They've got a crowded backfield. I tell you what, man, that kid's got spark. I I kind of like him. And for a third down back, a catching, a, a receiving back, somebody he ain't got better some than JD McKissick. Burst. Well, we if well, this is supposing that McKissick is gone. Uh, Raheem Mostert coming off a bad knee injury, but the dude's got some that, fucking he, wheels. He he does, but that knee injury scares me with, when it comes to running backs, and, and he's an older running back too, I believe. Well, now, uh, okay, so Antonio Gibson. All right, everybody, I, I had this discussion with somebody a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago. I don't know. Time just kind of runs together for old people. But uh, do you think they might try to bring in competition? How bad are the fumbles hurt him? Six fumbles last year. Couldn't have been in worse situations. You could probably argue that it cost us two games. He fumbled inside the 20 against the Cowboys, inside the five against the Chargers. So free I, agents that are out there, James Conner will be a free agent. Melvin Gordon, unless he decides all of a sudden he wants to go back to Denver with Russell Wilson, he's going to be a free agent. Any chance they bring in somebody to compete? Maybe for a camp body, yeah. Camp body, I mean, those, those two names are pretty big uh, just to come yeah, yeah, in to, to, to compete. I mean, they, they would want to sign for uh, – No, they want to play. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And James Conner has been, been pretty yeah. solid running back for the – Leading team. scorer last year, to Arizona. He? But, wasn't he the leading um, touchdown maker last year? Yeah. I, 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 you'd have to ex expect that Arizona will, will want to sign him back. You yeah, know? I believe he gets re-signed. Mel Melvin Gordon could be the they one have that, youth. Yeah. that heads somewhere else, but I don't think it's going to be for a competing job. 
I think that he would uh, officially he wants be to be a number RB1. one back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. He's getting up there in age too. You know, it's, he's it's, 28. Well, yeah, he had that one, I mean, he for running back, back age, he might charge. Right? He, he split time last year. In Denver, he had a good year with the chargers and yeah, they have the rookie Javante Williams up there. But yeah. last year, Gordon averaged almost five yards a carry, man. The dude, yeah. when he gets the ball in his hands, he's hard to bring down. So, I mean, I, but I think you're right. He'd want to be RB one. I, I, I would, I, 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 Listen, if I'm Ron, I'm I'm bringing anybody in to make this team better. I, I your name I doesn't. Yeah. I I don't care who you are. You know, if they can find somebody better than Antonio Gibson, then by all means, bring them fucking in. You can find somebody. So you know what I have? Them. You know what I have it a problem stay with? Nicked up all year. You know what I have a problem with Antonio Gibson, and it's not just the fumbles. Like, when's the last time we saw a breakaway run for a touchdown? That, that's because he's that's, never quite healthy. It's a toe mm. or it's a shin right. or it's it, just whatever is an owie. He's had so it. there's been times where it's what like one to extra tackle, like one finger like trips him yep. up, man. Oh, yeah, so right, close yeah. to breaking him, uh, breaking him off, but just doesn't doesn't happen. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's a pussy. I'm he's saying a, he's, well, he's that's, got that's not nice anymore. Sorry, Ty. That's he's not got nice to talent anymore either. He's got. I'm talent. just saying. Speaking he does, but but the, but the the injuries. Even though he he's heroic in playing through them all the time, he's constantly got them. Yeah, you know they're yeah. small nicks, but they 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 take away his speed. They take away his ability to cut. I I think him year his years growing up and playing receiver did not do him any justice when because you you running backs take ball, a right? lot of uh, of. Uh, they take a lot of hits and, and your body's mm-hmm. it, maybe his body's just not used to all the hits that he's getting because he played primary receiver growing up and in, in throughout college. Yeah, that's a very good his point. Body's I mean, not used to it. I he holds know, maybe, the ball like know, a receiver. I, I, but that, he only had one fumble as a rookie, but last year, yeah, I, last how many times rough. did and you see him when you see it him? Was in track, ba- it was bad time ball in one hand. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hard. Bad time. Well, yeah you're right. Very you could bad cost time. Two games. You could, you could argue two games, the chargers game, almost certainly. You know, we yeah. lost that game by four points. He fumbled at the five yard line. Hey, right. Cool call. Right. The Cowboys game. Um, we were almost in that game. We were right about ready to get in that game, and he fumbles at the fucking inside the twenty. The Colts. That was terrible. Uh, I mean, not the Colts, but uh, Packers game. He fumbled during the Packers game, I believe, and we were we lost we that game very, close. Yeah, we were very much in that game as well. Right. So, so you know. I think last year they tried to sit him down, but they, they both, it was almost like he was a child. They put him in timeout for, you know, yeah. a couple of series, but because they don't have anybody else to put in there, you know, McKissick was nursing some injuries last year. Patterson, he could get a better role. He might yeah, step and up Mc, into the role. Mc, McKissick's his role can't change. I, you know, he, he did good filling in for, for injuries, but he is He's gotta at be his he best is. as a third down back. That's yeah. where he's McCaffrey is going to be on the market. He is, but uh, they're going to want a first round pick for McCaffrey. And you ain't, you know what I was giving up a first round pick for a fucking running back. Fuck that shit. You don't give up your 11 for him? Hell no. No, No, you can't. Earlier, I said that injuries are fluky things and injury history. Because McCaffrey's not with running backs. Mccaffrey's always injured. That's a different story. Yeah. Running backs. I'm not saying his talent. You can't deny his talent. He's fucking phenomenal when he's on the field, though. Yeah, it, it, I'm not saying that we should. Yeah. I'm just, and their leg question. injuries. You know, I mean, I'd give up a second for him, maybe, maybe a second. We don't have but I don't think I could. We do don't have them. No, oh yeah, yeah, we, yeah do. we got the Colts. We got. Yeah, yeah we, got we just flip flops. We like four spots. We just flip flop. We do have a second. We don't have a third. Right. But I, I mean, thought the, that yeah, McCaffrey. I thought be, that that second was conditional in the next draft. That's no, in, no, no. Yeah, that's it. No, we we flopped 2022 seconds, and then we gave them a, a third for 2023 that could potentially become a second. Yeah, gotcha. Right. If he plays 70. percent Now I'm wondering. Yeah, if he right. play, if he plays 70, percent and there's a good chance that he's not going to because Carson Wentz gets injured. You know, if he throws 30 touchdowns, I hear Jim Irsay's got to give up his Polaroid collection of his cheerleaders and let Dan Snyder <laughs> look at him. You know, God. they they, you know, the Commanders Ron did this shit. This is what makes me mad about this whole thing because he's not really allowing us to be rightfully mad. If that, does that make any sense? No, because like <laughs> yeah, he's not allowing us to rightfully be mad because <laughs> he doesn't have any choice. Well, because in the end, Wentz is better than Taylor Heineke. Yeah. So, so okay. he upgraded the position. So it's like, but fuck, man, it's Carson Wentz. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, Ron, what are you doing to us, bro? Like, come on. Like, 
Like, you're not even letting me be mad. At least go. I know Trubisky is rumored to be with the, like, head to the Giants or whatever, but, like, go get that guy just so I can be full on fucking mad. But instead, well, we get a guy who possibly, you know, possibly could do well, you know, and it's an upgrade over Taylor Heineke. So, really, us fans, we're like being told, yo, shut the fuck up. But we're like, no, fuck you, Ron. Fuck you. I don't want to shut the fuck up because this guy's only really going to play here for one year. Go fuck yourself. This is kind of like the predicament that we're in. And it sucks to be well, in this predicament as a You got to look at it like this. My Uncle Skeeter used to say, fucking a chicken is better than fucking a frog. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't understand the, the how. I mean, okay. <laughs> I just took it. I, I kind of figured okay. You just took yeah, his I, advice I, and you're like, I'm <laughs> never gonna fuck a frog. Like okay. right, that's right. I to this day I've never dated a frog. Skeeter definitely. I mean, that's that's good good stuff. Look, I, I oh, think in, in, the back, in the back of our heads, you can only we, find on the people's podcast. The back of our heads, podcast. we all that's knew right. something like this was gonna happen. It was inevitable. Sure. I mean, like like seriously, you have sit back and it, just look at the whole situation. And the landscape of the entire NFL and the available quarterbacks, this something like this was going to happen. Whether it was a Winston, a Wentz, to me, you throw a dart at each, each uh, those quarterbacks. You know, I agree. It, it's just it's that it is it's what's available. And we tried not only last year. We tried for Matt Stafford. Yeah, we tried for fucking. Uh, uh, and also, I saw a report today if the uh, Rams would have got back to Washington, they would have thrown in another first round pick for Stafford. But listen, they can only do so fucking much. You yeah. know, they can't force somebody to trade them. You know what, though? They're a uh, franchise quarterback. Can't what I it. would like to see is okay, uh, Wentz is, is one of a bunch of quarterbacks that are coming available or, or could potentially be available. I mean, you know, we didn't like the idea of Trubisky, but Trubisky in a draft pick isn't such a bad idea. Mariota's coming loose. Everybody was always excited about him. Every time they saw him get in a Raider game and make one play, they go, oh, we should, we should sign that guy. So, and, and Jameis Winston could be coming loose. There's quarterbacks that are possibly available, but this is the second year in a row where we've made big offers for a big time quarterback, you know, a, a franchise changing quarterback. And when we didn't get it, we immediately went to the freaking next thing before any of the free agents period even started. We went right for Fitzpatrick and went, okay, well, I'm not going to get the best girl of the day. So I'm going to take this fucking Harry Bish home. And that's what we did. So now, I mean, Wentz is a bit of a different, I think it's a better signing or move than it was for, for Fitzpatrick, because I think he's got more upside, but at the same time, he didn't give any of that other stuff a chance. Was anybody else going to make a claim on, on Wentz? Well, another thing. Okay, so here's – great. I'm glad you said that because that was going to roll into my I'm next – I'm a smart fucking guy. Because that was going to roll into my next uh, thought that I had on why I'm I, – I just wish I had answers because here's a, here's one Remember, of the things that I'm, I'm looking he at. He has no sources and is stupid. Stupid as hell. But right. the one thing that I'm thinking is – now, what kind of situation are we in with Wentz, so to speak? And what I mean by that is there were reports, because you guys had mentioned, and plus there were reports out there that, uh, you know, that uh, Colt said that if they couldn't make a trade, they, you know, they would release them, right? Were we this desperate? Well, here's my first question to right. both of you. Were we this desperate? that because we're always under the assumption that no quarterback wants to play here, that we couldn't be willing to wait for Wentz to hit the market because then the, the, because then the, 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 the answer becomes in his hands, the ball is in his court. He, and then he can say, nah, I don't want to play for Washington. And you know, he could go to other interests. And then two, was he forced into this trade? Because well, if, he, if he was, and he, you know, like, that's a problem most, mentally most players as well. Are. That's part. That's part of being a player. Most players don't have no trade clauses like these big time quarterbacks have, like Rodgers has, or like like Wilson has, or Deshaun Watson. Wentz is going to go where they send him, and if they trade him for a freaking Snickers bar, he's going wherever they traded him. Uh, or he goes home. I mean, I'm sure, but is. but at the same time, though, like you have to think of one's mental. You know, I mean, this guy, sure. like, let, let's put it on the table. I mean, this guy, he's a Christian, okay? He's very religious. You're coming to an organization that is pretty much atheist, 
Okay, let's be honest. I mean, <laughs> well, I would I would go along the lines is... of practically Satanist. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah okay. I'm with you. Yeah, I take that back. So, I, so I now an what's his so thought process? Because he was traded and didn't have the decision, which is fine. I understand that's how the business works, and he'll just pull his big boy pants up and keep it moving. Plus, he's getting paid twenty eight million. But was he forced into this? You know what I'm saying? You and know, so the the flip side to that though is, if it's only a one year deal, he has to come in this season and actually audition. Yeah, audition for everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But you know, the other there's two ways to look at this. That oh, they didn't want me, or they did. These guys did. You know, and that's that's a way that you, as an athlete or as a professional in in that kind of a uh, profession where your your contract can be traded like that, that you're gonna have to view it that way. Okay, well they didn't want me, but these guys did. If they just if they just cut him, well then he could sit there and go, well no, nobody wants just me. Maybe if, maybe he's going to come in with a chip on his shoulder. Who knows? I just wonder. I if hope the not team because that might so get him desperate. hurt. That motherfucker's fragile. I was just wondering if the team was so desperate and afraid of missing out that that's we, possible that we gave up these assets and we're paying this guy twenty eight million dollars for the season yeah. because they're afraid if he went to the market that he wouldn't choose us. Like, is this? the mindset that we're in. And if that's, if that's the case, it might not, it might, this organization it, it, is in trouble. It might not Look, be the mindset, but it might be re- reality. It well, might be, it, you know, if that's reality, reality, then we're in trouble. And I don't oh, know yeah, how you fix that. it except for winning. And right now, I, we don't have you, a Bill you Ross Dan Snyder's that we can front do staircase. That. That's how you fix it. You go out one night, wear black, and you make sure nobody can see you in the dark. And you this put guy always with his down. dumbass shit. In, in between look, that man, you, you like, get some nice looking at the positives. We got to keep our first behind. round pick. Okay, we got to keep our first round pick. We didn't end up with someone like Trubisky. Um, yep, and I think that's it. Uh, so you would it. take Wentz yeah. over Trubisky? Yeah, yeah. Talent wise, yeah, he's yeah more. I think so uh, right more. now because I, I, from just what, just I don't think we've seen the best from Trubisky. I don't think we have. Uh, I, I think with the right coaches, because he, he does got some talent. He, he came out, he was a good college quarterback. I just think he got, like a lot of quarterbacks, got shafted and, and got drafted to the wrong team. But from what I've seen on the field, I would probably take Wentz. Uh, I would I would take Wentz over Trubisky. I think I might even take Wentz over Winston. Maybe I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Winston. I, I'm just not. I, I know some people are. There's a slight few people that are. I personally, I I'm, I'm not. Don wants to have sex with him. Yeah, well, it, it does seem like far. you want to you want to lube him up and bend him over and want to grab his far. ankles. Look, I've seen what he does with a W. He his tongue doesn't work for shit. So no. I but, also would like to point out that Jesse's comments are brought to you by Bleeding Burgundy brand turd polish. <laughs> you want that turd nice and shiny? Yeah. Bleeding Burgundy brand turd polish is the, the brand for Jesse. So, and this what what this also tells me, and and I'm kind of glad in this way is that they're not willing to to, to I don't think they're going to draft a quarterback, and I don't think they're just going to throw away a first round pick on somebody that they don't believe in. Correct. I hope they go get that. Okay, linebacker. and I I'm 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 happy about that. I'm glad about that. That that shows me that there are adults making. Uh, the best decisions they possibly can that's within their uh, uh, purview doing so and not just throwing away a first round pick on someone that they don't think is going to be their franchise guy to me that's for sure they can they can put it off for a year all right so real quick because we are running time here um, if I had to ask you what is one free agent that you would like to see targeted before we come back and do this show again who would it be Keith go ahead yeah, I mean, I'd have to go with Dean. The guy's talented at his position. Oh, he's a rookie. He's a he's a. Uh, uh, he's free, a oh, you free said free agent. agent. Free you agent. Free yeah, agent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, man. I, Dean would be my first round pick. Dude. Yeah, I'm free sorry. I, yeah, I was half ass listening. Um, no free That's agent. Right. I mean. Who, who who's officially on the list? I mean, I don't even. Lots of, there's a lot of them. See, that's yeah. the thing. It's a it's a bumper crop because last year a lot of those free agents only signed one year deals because COVID was so many weird things were going. Let on. me research I, it, Jesse. I'd like to. Did I'd you, like to Jesse, either. Go ahead. If, if, <laughs> I'd like to either see. Uh, I touched on earlier Tyron Matthew or um, uh, if the Cowboys make uh, or or even cut or make uh, Amari Cooper available, going after him and getting that that big receiver. 
Reminder, it's been reported that he called Dak Prescott the white or the black Kirk Cousins, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I think either of those two would be uh, great additions to this team. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't go through that list. That's impossible. But um, it, 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 the minute you mentioned Honey Badger and I, I was remembering seeing that there was mutual interest with him in the saints. And I was like, damn, that kind of sucks. I'd love to have that guy. Um, yeah. That would definitely, you know, be my top choice. And, and to be Bring honest, some star him, power too, some more star power to the team as well. The problem though, that, that I see with that is if you do bring it, you don't really, you're not leaving yourself with a lot, many more options in free agent either. So um, I'd rather see a safety him. in the draft. There's, there's safeties in the draft. He, mm-hmm. he would definitely, he would definitely take up, you know, quite a bit of money. I mean, he's had a, he's had a good career and th- that's just being like, being stupid off the top of my, my head my but. number one target would be jordan hicks we need an inside yeah. linebacker like nobody's business yeah. somebody that knows how to play and knows yeah. how to find somebody with the ball and tackle them and i'd be does. i'd be definitely okay had with a, that 116 tackles last year 118 the year before 150 we, do, we do need to do something at linebacker. We definitely do need to do something at line. We, I, I, I do not Hicks. want to see John Bostick's fucking dumbass back on this team. He's, a, he's an unrestricted free agent. Thank God, Commander Salute. He's well, drawn. I don't know. The people's I don't know podcast says goodbye, John Bostick. Yeah, he can go. Um, I, I don't know Jordan Hicks' stats by any means. I know that you just um, run him off, but I remember watching games, man, and that guy's that guy's name was always all over the TV. But, so but that, was it, is it, isn't isn't Hicks a, a, a 3-4 linebacker? I think that that's, you know, you're going to see that in almost anything anymore. And I think that the, those things are kind of interchangeable these days. We don't really run a true middle linebacker set, you know, yeah, like you know, you're not going to see a Brian Urlacher or, or, or you know, Ray we need Lewis someone with some, some speed and some vision that yes. can hit the hole. And, yes. And they can find the goddamn guy with the ball before he's yeah. five yards past him. John Bostic, thank you very much. I can't wait for – I would love to be a fly on the wall when he goes into his first free agent interview and says, uh, this is my highlight tape. And the guy goes, it's only five seconds long. And he goes, yep. <laughs> I do believe we're going to hit it's the market hard seconds, for, for linebackers. I, I, I definitely think they, they got to. They have to. Oh, hell yeah. That's the to. biggest weakness on this team, aside from Jack Del Rio and his glacial speed, which he makes fucking you th- changes. Do you think they're trying to splash for a wide receiver? I, whether wide it's in the draft, draft or, yeah. or, 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 uh, or free agency. I'm just talking we're going free to see, agency. We're, we're, yeah, we're going to see some moves. We'd have to. We, we have to see a move. I don't know if it's going to be either the draft or free agency, but they they got to bring in somebody else for that. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to throw a name at you, and this will be a, a lower-end – free agency signing to take care of some of those other wide receiver slots that we have that really aren't panning out. But Braxton Berrios, if the Jets let him walk, I would love to see that guy signed here to play our mm-hmm. slot because that John's been watching and, YouTube and stop. Nah, dude, I watch football. I, I pay attention up. to the NFL. It's the, hard for me to get my knowledge out when I'm fucking sitting here listening to you the, tell the, me all the, about the, what happened the last time Sims. you drove down to Ashburn. Uh, all those uh, Cam Sims lovers that that think that he has the potential to be a wide receiver too. That's just that's it's done. That's over with. No, but it's I done. like him here. I like him here. I do too. And I'd like to see him sign. He's like a, a four or five. Team. He's a four or five. Um, I, there's still Cam Sim <laughs> believers. That's just I'm not. Sorry. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Keith giving me the look with his Mike's hard freaking Blackberry surprise or whatever that is that he's got there. <laughs> Sponsored by Mike's Hard Lemonade. Keep That's it going. Right. Blackberry lemonade. All it's right. the black Kirk Cousins drink. It's oh, the God. drink of it's the purple drink Jesus for the Christ. Kirk Cousins. Set. Got the purple drink. <laughs> That's right. Purple drink. The scissor, the purple the drink. Scissor for the I gotta tell you what, the, the relatively few black people that are listening to us right now are laughing their fucking heads off. <laughs> and I love it because that's the way it's fine should. with me. That's right. Laugh at me all you damn well want. All right. So uh I, that's all I got. What do you got? Any got, you got anything it. left? No. All right. Well, I am uh, at Bet Bang Radio Hour on Twitter if you want to come over there and find me. Because as as I said earlier, if you're stupid, you get out of line. I'm not really going to give a shit. I'm just going to say, gosh, that's awful unfortunate. Your parents failed. So uh, we can find Jesse. Where are you? Uh, at Jesse's two four. I don't really go on Twitter much anymore. So you can. Yeah, I know he got old. DM me if you want. But you don't expect an answer. <laughs> yes, he'll DM you back. Get off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> God damn it. And uh, of course, at KG Skins 26, you are the legend of Twitter, sir. Yeah, no, I'm not. And don't even bother following no, no, me. No, you, you are. And believe me, when I say Keith has no sources and is incredibly stupid, just to <clears> save <throat> you from having to tweet him every time he could cause something out. It's 100% true. And I'm okay with it. So you That's all right. should be too. That's right. 
This is the fans show. This is the Look, people's I'm human. podcast. It's the people's podcast. The people's I'm podcast. People's podcast. Peace.